Hi, I'm Nell Diamond, and this is how I do my everyday hair. Every night, I sleep with my hair in two braids, so I have really, really long hair, as you can see, and it's super thick. And I very much believe that long hair is actually secretly the most low maintenance hair. And it's because I don't, there aren't a lot of things you can do with it. So that's why I like having my long hair. Um, and usually I shower, I'm a night shower person. So I shower at night and then my hair is wet. And then I do it in these two long braids. And it has the added benefit of making me look like Wednesday Adams when I sleep, which I'm very into like to have a look when I sleep also. Um, and then in the morning I take it out, which is really great. My hair gets really tangly. And so there's one conditioner that I've been using since I was like 16 years old and it's kind of the only one I use and it's the Garnier Fruit Tees. It's in the green bottle. It's very important to me. Also, I brush my hair in the shower. So I use a brush while my hair is wet, like under the water, because that really helps with tangles. I got this at CVS, I think. And then I usually put like a spray, a frizz spray. So I like this Briogeo, I'm probably saying that wrong. Farewell frizz, leave-in conditioning spray. So I spray that all over, brush my hair, and then put it in these two long braids. And it's actually really not looking its best. I slept with my four-year-old son last night and he like hits my head while I sleep. So he's kind of ruining my hair routine, but usually it looks a little neater than this. I've always had long hair my entire life, basically. I actually have had a few moments where I've cut it short. It's always very impulsive. I like go to the hairstylist and I'm like, I have to have it all off right now. It's usually in the summer when I'm really hot because it's sort of like wearing a fur hat all the time having this much hair. So I've had a few impulsive moments, but my hair just keeps coming back. She loves me. She grows back thicker. Um, it's a very good problem to have. I'm very blessed with having a lot of hair. I just had um, babies. I just had twins five months ago in October. And my hair while I'm pregnant gets even thicker and then postpartum crazy shedding. So this is actually post shedding hair. Okay, so now I'm gonna take out my braids, which is what I do every morning. So I put these, I put two little clips in here this morning because I was sleeping with my toddler, which is not what parenting Instagram tells you you're supposed to do, but he had a bad dream. So I was a bad parent and I definitely messed it up sleeping in his bed. So I really like the wave that the braids give me. If I was feeling super extra, I could take a heat tool and just get the top parts here, but most days I don't really have time for that. And then I do this thing, which I think I saw in a movie once. <laughs> it just like lifts at the root because I definitely, when you have those braids tight to your face, it can feel a little severe. And then sometimes I'll do a little flip just to bring the life back to my hair. And then here we are. I tend to avoid too many products in my hair if I'm doing it myself, honestly, mostly because I don't really know what to do with them. Um, if I'm getting my hair done, I'm very happy with products that kind of my hair like will absorb a lot. The only thing I'll sometimes use is I'll use that leave-in conditioner again, the Farewell Frizz, and I'll kind of like just give it a little spray and pat it down. If it's a humid day out um, and I'm trying to avoid some frizz. So usually my hair's a little much to be in my face while I'm working all day. So I'll do a half up. So I just kind of grab a little bit of my hair and twist it back. You, if you look closely, you can see all the hair breakage postpartum at my temples, which um, comes back. So don't worry if it happens to you. And then I'll just use a bow. I'm a big bow girl and clip it in the back like that. So then I'm nice and neat up top. I was a big middle part person before Gen Z told me to, so I'm feeling pretty cool about that. I grew up in London, and even though I'm American, my parents, um, my parents are American, but I grew up in London almost my whole life. And when I was a teenager, I really, really wanted a crazy color hair. 
Um, it was all the rage in London when I was in middle and high school and I wanted to dip my hair. So I wanted to dip my hair in like purple or pink and I had all these friends who were doing it and it looked so cool, but it just, I don't think my color is the right color to be dipped. So I've had a few favorite things that I've done with my hair in the past. I have done, I love a good costume party. For Halloween once I did a crazy bun on the top of my head and it was really cool but it was so heavy that I literally lasted like 30 minutes at the party because I was had the most intense headache of my life which can be tough with um, with a ton of hair. And then I loved my hair at my wedding too. It was, um, I got a little lift on my crown which was really, really fun, a little bit of teasing. I think teasing can be great. Um, and that hairstyle took a long, <laughs> took a long time, but I find it very relaxing to get, um, to get my hair done. When I was, um, 10 years old, I think maybe a preteen, my older brother used to make fun of me because he said when my hair is in front of my shoulders like this, I look like a Springer Spaniel dog. And once you see that, you can't unsee it. So Robert, here you go. Here is me with Springer Spaniel ears in front of, in front of my face very attractive. So thank you guys so much for following along on my morning hair routine. I'm feeling ready to go to work, ready to have a day at the computer. I've got my bow, which is like my power suit. <laughs> Once I have my bow, I'm ready to take on the day. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. So thank you. Bye.